Hey guys. Hi. So today, we're gonna do the negatives of natural hair. Yeah. Exactly. There are negatives. It's not all just great. No. <laughs> so the first one is, um, oh, you like put your hair in an updo or a puff, like you get your hairstyle down pat. Then you realize you have to either put your shirt on, change your shirt or something. So, you know, you gotta like stretch it over your hair to get it off and then stretch it. And then you are scared that like, cause one little bump can ruin the whole the thing. The entire like, updo <laughs> will be destroyed by one hit. I hate that, oh my gosh. Um, another thing we hate is when you have a puff, you'll get in your car and it'll be like right at the top of the ceiling. You try to move your head and you can't and that is not safe. Your neck has to be like this the whole time. And we don't like that. You know, like even if I have my hair like that, like sometimes I don't want to like, you know, put my head back on the headrest because I'm like, I don't want it to be flat in the back. <laughs> like you have to think of all these things. Exactly. Like your hair will be completely smushed, no volume in the back and you won't think about it when you get out of the car. And of course, nobody's gonna tell you. Nobody tells me. Nobody will tell you. Finding pins in your hair. Like, you know, you had your updo and you thought you took out all the pins, so you're about to like do your hair again and whoop, found a new pin. (laughs) Days later, let's just be stranded somewhere in there. Um, One twist left in your hair unnoticed. This happens to us so often. It's like I pull this whole thing out and then (laughs) boom, that's still there. Exactly, just one twist stranded, like somewhere probably right up in here. And And it's another thing. No one tells you. They'll no be one. in your hair and no one's like, oh, you have a twist. I don't get it. Like it was supposed to be there? Is that <laughs> what you thought? <laughs> um, if you, some people have this problem. If you do like a wet twist um, set like the night before, like in the morning, your hair isn't dry. Could be like it was too wet, so it takes longer to dry or something. But like you have to go in the morning and so if you pull it out wet, one, it's going to be frizzy. Two, it's going to be shrunken, so you're not happy. Exactly. We don't usually have that problem, but we heard it is a problem. Um, single strand knots and split ends. Yeah. Single strand knots, like, most people get them in wash and goes, but sometimes we get them. Usually, I do not cut those out. Eventually, I detangle, and it comes out with conditioner, but sometimes... Really? Yeah. I cut mine out. See, I didn't mm-hmm. know that, because I'm kind of, like, impatient, so I... I'm the quickest, like, recently, since it, since I have my natural hair, I, like, have my scissor whenever. Like, a knot, boom. Single strand, boom. I'm <laughs> cutting. Yeah, no, I just keep them in. Unless, like, I notice that it's just not leaving, then I cut it. And split ends along with single strand knots, because those are not... Not progressive. Needs, exactly. Your hair needs to thrive. You cannot have chipped nails while detangling. You can't because it will snag your hair exactly, and that will break your hair like so your nails have to be either either clear, no polish, or perfectly done. Yeah, you could try it. But I've tried it many times because I'm so lazy, <laughs> but your hair will be like, nah, nah, and it's just like, it's not fun at all. Um, My hair grows like a mullet. Like the back is completely longer and then there's like a little loose patch section right here so it just grows that way and it's not it's not fun at all (laughs) and this side's shorter than this side too (laughs) for me um what i've noticed because my i think my hair is growing like at a decent rate the longer your hair gets you experience like a change with like your curl pattern because it like weighs it down so it like kind of stretches it out more because my hair used to like stand up like if I had it out and now it's kind of like just falling like if I really want it up I have to like pin it like there's like a secret (laughs) pin in there that you don't know about or like really like pick it up and I'm gonna invest in a diffuser because um Haffy and Mm. Kiana yeah they've used it and Haffy swears by is it it gives you volume this is a product of a diffuser and I love it so Um, it's pretty time consuming to get good results. Like, you need to keep on top of your hair and make sure that it's moisturized. And it's a lot of work with natural hair, especially when you come from permed hair. Like, you're not used to it. So, it's a whole nother lifestyle, but it's worth it. Girl, the way my bank account is set up, (laughs) 
you have to like ensure that you have your products your hair can't get done if you don't have your products if i don't have oil to seal my ends my ends will get dry and they will split and break if i don't have conditioner to detangle then my hair is not going to be moisturized so you always have to be spending money to get your conditioner and your oils at least your essentials your moisturizers and i wouldn't i mean all right some are cheap all right i give you that but some aren't exactly Cash like soda. <laughs> <laughs> And you need your products. Um, always having shampoo and always running out of conditioner is a big thing in the natural world. Like, we don't really use shampoo. We don't. I don't know about other people, but I know a lot of people co-wash. So, shampoo is just sitting there with, like, a full bottle. Conditioner is like this, and you're like, I can't. That's not enough for one wash. The <laughs> shampoo I've had right now, I've literally had since last year. I am not kidding. Since last year. And <laughs> conditioners, what? <laughs> <laughs> but my, and the funny thing is my last, like, cold wash, um, I had the Aussie Moist because it was about to be done. Then I had some organics. I don't remember <laughs> which one. And it was about to be done. And, like, I was like, ah, come on, just do this one section. It was like I was trying different conditioners on different sections just because I wanted to finish them, but it wasn't enough to do my whole head. You <laughs> add some water, swish it around, like, please work. <laughs> um. oh. You can touch my hair, no problem, but don't yank my hair. Oh, that's really bad. Don't mm. yank <laughs> Don't yeah, uh, and don't like mess up my part. Like, don't go like that. <laughs> you can touch it though. Exactly. People will pull your hair, and you're like, oh, just because these it's like nappy hair it doesn't mean that <laughs> it doesn't. It's still attached to my scalp. Like this hurts. We got feelings too. <laughs> exactly. Um, humidity is a hit or a miss. Like, one day the humidity can make your hair really soft and really voluminous, or like your word. hair could just thank you or your hair could just have complete shrinkage <laughs> which leads to our next topic shrinkage is an or a insert expletive <laughs> <laughs> no but really yeah like, come on your hair could be like bra strap length and you would never know at all Can until you you're hair? like Psh, oh <laughs> okay cool but in shrinkage, there is health. That's what they say. Hey, word to the wise. <laughs> um, having to steal extra virgin olive oil from the kitchen and trying not to get caught. Because my mom is the first person to look at me like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, I need it. For my-, my mom's like, you can't be using all the things in my kitchen for your hair. Like, her honey is like this low right now. <laughs> but it's like, honey lightens your hair and I really want light hair, but I'm scared to color. So I'm like up in the honey I use in my deep conditioner. <laughs> Literally using everything. Oh, I just need this banana for my hair. Some yogurt, some mayo. She's like, what? I'm gonna eat that. No, exactly. you can't be using my food in your hair. I was like, I'm so tired of you right now. Like, I bought these to eat. You don't need it in your hair. Your hair doesn't need all of this. And I'm like, yes, it does. Deep conditioning. So that is a few of what we think are the negatives of natural hair. And they're not really negative. You know why? Because at the end of the day, we love our hair. Yep. And that's just what comes with it. That's the territory, you know? Exactly. Comment below if you think you have any other negatives. Yeah, share, talk to us. Exactly. (laughs) Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.